When it comes to posting content on social media, churches have a huge advantage over most organizations. That's because every week we have a new sermon to pull content from. Social media managers rejoice, most of the work is already done for you. You just need to take the content and break it out throughout the week. There's a ton you can do with a weekly sermon, but we'll cover social media quotes, blog posts, photos, and video clips for now. Social media quotes are the easiest to collect. Assign someone to listen to the sermon on Sunday, either live or from playback, and write down any pie the quotable phrases that the preacher uses. One sermon should give you enough Facebook and Twitter content for the whole week if you schedule one a day using services like Buffer or Hootsuite. Create images from the quotes using apps on your phone like Over, Wordswag, or Canva. These will work well on Instagram as well as Facebook. Not only are quotes a great way to help people remember the sermon throughout the week as they see them pop up in their social media feeds, but it can also be a great way to drive more traffic back to your site if you include a link to the full sermon recording with each post. We have found that many people will share their favorite quotes as a way to show others what their church is all about, and even to invite others to church. It's a lot easier to share one important point than it is to share the entire sermon. The next step is to turn the sermon content into a blog post or two. This is assuming your church utilizes a blog for distributing content on your website, which it should. Take the key point of the sermon and condense it down into about 300 words. This is really easy. The preacher included any kind of list or top three points in the sermon. One of the easiest ways to do this is to take the transcript of the sermon and copy and paste the section into a blog post. Some minor editing and it will take you no time at all. If you don't transcribe your sermons already, you can use a service like Rev.com. Another idea for blog post is to take these top seven social media quotes that you already pulled and turn that into another post. Call it the Sermon Social Media Roundup and provide an easy way for people to click and share each quote on their own platforms. Photos are another easy type of content that you can capture each Sunday. You don't need a fancy camera or a professional photographer on staff to capture photos of the life in your church. Those are great assets to have, but more than likely you've got an iPhone or a similar camera phone in your pocket that is more than capable of taking great photos. Capture the life in your church. Don't just focus on the preacher or the awesome stage lights and the worship band. Take photos of the people, the crowds, and things that show what it's like to participate in your church. This is all great content that can be shared on your social media platforms throughout the week, either on its own or linked to the sermon, your blog post, or other content. Just like the social media roundup blog post, consider creating an HP photo roundup post as well. Lastly, sharing video clips is a really important step to stretch your sermon throughout the week. This can be a little harder if you don't already have a video team, but posting clips of the sermon each week is a massive opportunity to reach a lot more people with that week's message. So it's worth the investment. Of course, you can post the entire sermon video on your website or YouTube, but posting shorter clips of the sermon will actually help you reach a lot more people. Take the key points of the sermon and create short clips that are less than five minutes long. Post those to YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, as well as on your blog. By posting shorter clips of the sermon, you open up the potential for key points in the sermon to go viral. It is much easier to share a three minute clip of a sermon than it is to post a link to the full service. That's it. Social media quotes, blog posts, photos, and video clips. And it's all using content that you already produce and tools you already have in your pocket. If you're organized enough, most of this can be done on Sunday shortly after the sermon is preached. By the time you go home for the day, you have an entire week's worth of content scheduled out already. That frees your week up to be able to engage with people on social media and reply to comments as they consume the content that you are posting. It means you don't have to worry about what to post and can actually use social media as a platform for conversations and community building.